hi and welcome to my channel in this video i want to talk about how to do in memory caching using ac.net core 3.1 i have already created an application here that is using sqlite to show some fake generated data let's run this application and see how it works so my application is running i have some users showing here and this is my query i am hitting a database and running this query over sqlite so every time i do a refresh this logs or gets updated and you can see that we are running another query down here so every time we refresh this page we are hitting the database sometimes this is a problem because the data doesn't change that much but users keep refreshing their page maybe they don't know about it they just go back and forth um, searching for something or looking for different page and and what happened is you keep hitting the database showing the same data and it can make your server do a lot of work that is unnecessary and um, put pressure on it so here i want to use in memory caching to keep this data in memory for a while and not hit the database every time we want to show this data so using in-memory cache is very simple let's add a private field as read only of type i-memory cache and let's call it cache and let's inject this the next step is to check if there already exists any data in your cache and if we have to renew it or not so let's use cache sorry cache to try get value and here we have to specify a key for this demo i'm using users as a string and second that we need to have an output variable to output our data and let's call it users and um, i can use visual studio to generate um, a local value of users let's make it as um, list of user user is a type that i have defined in my project and showing this in pplib context in here so next we have to check if we can get any data out of the cache or not so let's use if and if there is any data in cache um, we want to send it back into users but if there is not we want to load data from database and we want to set the cache value first i put users in here and my value is users also i need to specify entry options cache entry options in here memory cache entry options and so we have some options in here mostly we want to talk about expirations because other stuff is not that important maybe size you specify the size uh, size limit of your cache data 
it's a good thing to specify that because um, you don't want to have too much data in your cache other than that we usually want to go for uh, expiration settings absolute expiration is when you want to expire the data in your cache on an exact date and time so maybe tomorrow afternoon at exactly 4 p.m you want to expire the data for any kind of reasons it can happen maybe your data does not mean anything after tomorrow maybe you are showing the results of games or any sport and tomorrow there are new games there's new big new games new results and uh, you have to update the data you are showing to the users so that's a, a good example of when you need to do absolute expiration the other thing that you can use is a sliding expiration here you can set a time span like uh, 60 seconds and what it means is uh, every time you hit the cache this expiration limit resets so you have the data in your cache and somebody checks the data and you have a hit on your cache it doesn't matter how many seconds has passed if you are between 1 and 60 seconds of your cache expiration time then is it just resets and does not hit the database for the next 60 seconds again so it can happen over and over and over again and you may never hit the database anytime soon it's more useful when you want to show something like news today is very it's very important everybody is, is watching that news checking it watching it but as the time goes on it it loses its value and it's old so no one is checking it anymore and after a few days you just um let it disappear from your cache and maybe nobody come back and check it again so basically the most useful way of to expire your data is absolute expiration related to now and let's use this and go for um, time span again and select from seconds i want to use five seconds just for this demo obviously you want to go for more maybe five minutes or 300 seconds because it doesn't really have any good effect if you're just doing the cache for five seconds so let's see how this is going to work before running this application let's set our user list to users and now we can run the application again so our data is showing and i have my logs here it's showing green but doesn't matter really let's refresh the page we are hitting the database but every time i refresh my page there is no hitting on the database because we are reading from the cache if i refresh again then i have this hitting my database so every time in that five seconds i refresh the page nothing happens but um, after that five seconds my data in cache expire and i have to read the data from my database again in memory cache is useful when you have a small data that you need to cache and especially when you are dealing with databases and reading data from external services or databases so try not to use it too much because it's using the memory in your server and it's not going to work when you are going to scale your application maybe run it in a in a more than one server situation because it all exists in your memory of the same server you're running it you cannot 
share this data between different servers. For that use cases, you need to use tools like Redis, which is something that I'm going to talk about uh, in next few videos. So that's it for today. I make short tutorials about ASP.NET Core, C Sharp, and .NET Framework. If that's something that you're interested in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know if there is any comment about my videos. Thank you for watching.